Growing up, I dealt with eczema. I got into dance when I was five, and I did it all the way through high school. After college, I made it a career, and I joined a cruise line and became a performer and aerialist. While living on board with my sensitive skin, the conditions were making it really hard for me to keep my eczema at bay. My skin was getting really bad. Ashes on my face, my chest and back, my legs. It was just spreading everywhere. And when I went to the dermatologist, they said I had caught a fungus. Once I was prescribed the topical steroids, it became manageable and under control. A year ago, I decided I didn't want this medication anymore, so I discontinued using the steroid. I started to get a really bad rash on my chest and back. It was very itchy, and it spread all the way down my legs and all the way up to my face. I had swollen eyes, pressed, huge, almost purple patches on my legs, swelling in some of my fingers and my calves ooze, which is basically like yellow plasma coming out of my skin, and it smelled horrific. I couldn't work. I could barely get off the couch at times. And any time I brought up that I thought the steroids were doing this to me, they said that that wasn't a possibility. I think ultimately what made me shave my head was my scalp. It was just so thick with skin that I could literally grab pieces and pull out the skin with the hair on it, and I would have handfuls. Just watching it fall out and be everywhere, in the bathtub and stuck on walls. And the day that I knew that I would just have to shave it because it was so bad, it was just really hard of letting go of something that was like a third arm. I just knew that to get better and to get on with this condition, I had to let that go. Brianna joins us now via Skype. And Brianna, so sorry that you're dealing with this condition and been dealing with it now for so long. What's been the hardest part about this struggle? Basically losing total control of your life. I, I had the best job. I had just married the man of my dreams. And like a huge hurricane, it just always wiped away and I mean everything that I love was taken and the only thing I was left with is like suffering and constant debilitating pain emotional anguish and I mean huge financial burdens because of all of this 